Hello, and welcome to the Woodward tutorial for using the SOS ServLink OPC server and Control Assistant software. In this tutorial, we will review the SOS ServLink OPC server and Control Assistant software and explain how they can be used with the controller. It is important to understand how to use these programs, as they both provide a useful interface to your controller. The SOS ServLink OPC server is an open platform communication server designed to communicate with a control using the Woodward ServLink protocol over an Ethernet or serial connection. This protocol allows OPC clients, like Control Assistant, to access and modify internal control parameters. Control Assistant is used to view and modify values on the control, such as tunable maintenance and modifications, real-time variable trending, data log plotting, and loading and saving different configurations. The first step toward using SOS ServLink OPC Server and Control Assistant is to connect the controller to the OPC server. To do this, open the SOS ServLink OPC Server program. Click the Start button. Click All Programs. Click to open the Woodward folder, or if applicable, the alternate folder you specified during installation. If applicable, click to open the SOS ServLink OPC Server folder. Click SOS ServLink OPC Server. Click Session on the menu bar. Click New Session on the drop down menu. In the Connect ServLink to Control window that opens, enter the IP address of your controller in the primary TCP IP address box. Then click Connect TCP. The status column identifies the fact that the controller is now connected to the OPC server. The port column displays the IP address, and the control ID column displays the name of your controller. Now you need to open Control Assistant. Click the Start button. Click All Programs. Click to open the Woodward folder, or if applicable, the alternate folder you specified during installation. If applicable, click to open the Control Assistant folder. Click Control Assistant. To use Control Assistant to receive and load a tunable configuration file from your controller, either click File on the menu bar, and then click New Win Panel on the drop-down menu, or press the Control and W keys on your keyboard. In the OPC Connection dialog box that opens, verify that ServLink OPC Server is selected as the OPC Server type and that Local Server is selected as the connection type. Then click Connect. The Win Panel window opens within Control Assistant. The name of your controller is in the left panel. To send or receive tunable files, your controller must be in Input Output Lock. To put it into I.O. Lock, you can either log in to configuration mode on your controller or issue it from Control Assistant. To issue it from Control Assistant, click the lock icon on the toolbar. In the Enter to Password window that opens, enter 1112, then click OK. In the Notice window that pops up, click OK to indicate that you understand that full tuning mode has been enabled. A Woodward Control Assistant window pops up. Click Yes to indicate that you want to continue. In the next Woodward Control Assistant window that pops up, click OK to indicate that you understand that the controller is now in I.O. Lock. Now you can receive a debug tunable list from the controller. To do this, either click Transfer on the menu bar and then click Receive Debug Tunable List from the drop-down menu, or click the Receive Debug Tunable List icon on the toolbar. If the Communications dialog box opens, click the OPC radio button, then click OK. Please note that if there is no Win Panel window open already, a Woodward Control Assistant window will pop up. It will say that a Win Panel window must be open for this operation. Click OK to close this window. In the Retrieve Tunables From pop-up window that opens, wait for the word Done to display at the top, then click Open. A new window with the controller's name opens in Control Assistant. It contains this tunable configuration, or TC file. As you can see at the end of the window's name, this is a .tc file. Before you make any changes to the tunable file, it is a good idea to save it to a location on your computer. You can now edit the values in the tunable file. To do this, click in the field containing the value you want to change. Select the value. Use your keyboard to enter a new value. 
When you have finished making changes to a tunable file, save the file with a new name to differentiate it from the original. To send this new tunable configuration file back to the controller, either click transfer on the menu bar and then click send tunable list from the drop down menu or click the send tunable list icon on the toolbar. If the communications dialog box opens, click the OPC radio button, then click OK. In the Send Tunables 2 pop-up window that opens, wait for the word Done to display at the top, then click Store. If the Enter to Password window pops up, enter 1112, then click OK. When you are done, click the X in the top right corner of the Tunable file window to close it. Reset the control to exit I.O. lock. To do this from Control Assistant, click the Reset icon on the toolbar. If the Enter to Password window pops up, enter 1112, then click OK. The Reset Control window that pops up asks you if you want to save the values that have been loaded to the control before you reset the control. You do, so click Save Values. In the Woodward Control Assistant window that pops up, Click Yes to save to non-volatile memory. In the next Woodward Control Assistant window that pops up, click OK to confirm that you understand that the action occurred. Back in the Reset Control window, click the Warnings Above Have Been Considered checkbox to add a checkmark. Then click Reset. In the Woodward Control Assistant window that pops up, click OK to confirm that you understand that the action occurred. You can also use Control Assistant to open an existing .tc file from your computer and then send it to the controller. To do so, click File on the menu bar. Click Open on the drop-down menu. In the Open dialog box that opens, navigate to the location of the existing tunable file. Select it and then click Open. Click the Send Tunable List icon on the toolbar. In the Send Tunables 2 pop-up window that opens, wait for the word Done to display at the top. Then click Store. You can use Control Assistant to view live trend variables in the controller. To do this, click File on the menu bar. Click New Trend on the drop-down menu. In the list on the left side of the Trend Properties dialog box that opens, click the plus sign next to the name of your controller. Click the plus sign next to the desired category. For this demonstration, we'll select the iFace Outspeed category. Next, click the plus sign next to the desired block. For this demonstration, we'll select the Speed PID block. Then, click the field name or variable that you would like to add to the trend. For this demonstration, we'll select the A name variable. Now, click the right arrow button to add the highlighted variable to the PED list. A PED is another name for a variable to be shown in the graph. Click the variable in the PED list. Then, select the color you want to associate with this PED by clicking the desired color box. For this demonstration, we'll select bright green. Following these same steps, select the other variables that you would like to add to the trend. Be sure to deselect any active PEDs before adding another. Using this dialog box, you can also change the screen time span screen update interval, and other parameters relating to the trend. When you are ready to display the trend, click OK. The trend view window opens. Because the graph is being created in real time, it will take a couple of seconds for the lines to display. Then, when they do display, they'll move from right to left. At the bottom of the trend view window, notice the tag name and the associated values. To change the y-axis scale for each variable independently, Click inside the scale column for the desired variable. Select the current value. Enter a new value to replace it. And then press the Enter key on your keyboard. To freeze a trend in the Trend View window, click the Freeze Trend button on the toolbar within the Control Assistant window. To resume the trend, click the Live Trend button on the toolbar within the Control Assistant window. To change the size of the trend, use the Zoom In and Zoom Out icons on the toolbar within the Control Assistant window. It is also possible to save a trend script so that the variables and settings you have selected can be opened again to view new live data at any time. To do this, click the Save Active View icon on the toolbar within the Control Assistant window. Finally, to close the trend, click the X in the top right corner of the Trend View window. Be careful not to click the X in the top right corner of the Control Assistant window.
You can also use Control Assistant to view data logs that have been saved by the controller. To learn how to save data logs using the controller, refer to the Service Data Log tutorial. To view data logs in Control Assistant, click the Open button on the toolbar. In the Open dialog box that opens, navigate to your computer's location of the data log you want to view. Select it, and then click Open. In the list on the left side of the Graph Properties dialog box that opens, click a variable that you would like to add to the graph. Now, click the right arrows button to add the highlighted variable to the PED list. Click the variable in the PED list. Then, select the color you want to associate with this PED by clicking the desired color box. For this demonstration, we'll select bright green. Following these same steps, select the other variables that you would like to add to the graph. For this demonstration, we'll just select the one variable. When you are ready to display the graph, click OK. The graph view window opens. With graph view, you can make the same adjustments and use some of the same tools that you did in trend view, including changing the y-axis scale of each variable and zooming in and out. To save the graph, click the Save Active View button on the toolbar. Control Assistant will save it as a .gs file so you can review it later. You now know how to use both the SOS ServLink OPC server and Control Assistant in conjunction with your controller. Please be sure to view the other tutorials for more information.